Hi, boys and girls. Yes, again, we're using the easel. So, you know, this camera doesn't show the whole um, easel. So I'm kind of like out of the picture, but I'm still talking. And so this is really important because we're trying to get to use uh, different kinds of things so that you don't get bored and you do get exposed to a lot of different things that you're going to be learning in first grade. I mean, kindergarten and first grade. All right. The title of the math lesson today is base ten blocks. Okay. That's a big title, but it's a title that's used a lot, a lot, a lot. So, in Spanish, we call it unidades, decenas, centenas, y millares. But that's not how we're going to teach this lesson. What I'm going to show you is the little one. You see that one? It's a cube shape. But in math, this little one that I just showed you is called a unit. Some people call it the ones place. Okay, and that's really important. Because now you're going to see another one that's a little different. You see this one? This is a long. You see how long it is? It has 10 of those units, 10 of these all together. It's called a long. So I'm going to pretend these have 10 and this is going to be called a long. Now in math, we call it tens. Okay. Why is it called tens? If you have noticed, if you if you have not, I'm going to show you right now. Every single digit that you see on the calendar from one to nine is in the ones place. But once I get to ten, I have two digits. There's the tens place and there's the ones. 11 has the 10 place and the ones. But how should I be looking at it? I should be looking at it as the ones and the tens. The ones and the tens. The ones and the tens. Okay? The same thing over here. The ones and the tens. The ones and the tens. Even though they have two digits and it's called 18 or 13 or 10 or or 19 what's really important what's really important is for you to know where is it positioned because once you know where that is everything from here when it comes to the base 10 blocks is going to completely change for you then you'll know where the hundreds will go then you'll know when the thousands go and then when you get really advanced, like in fifth and sixth grade, and especially sixth and seventh, you'll be going into what is called irrational numbers, which means you're going to go way beyond that. Okay. But in this case, which are rational numbers, you are going to be working on the numbers from 11 to 19. Those are what we're going to talk about in the base 10 blocks. We have the cube, right? That looks like the ones. And we have the longs that look like the tens. Okay? So when I say, when I say 13, 13 means this. It means three of these and one of these. So I'm going to draw it now. I'm going to say 13, right? 
right? I'm going to say 13. So I'm going to put 1 and 3. But when I use base 10 blocks, you're going to see this on your worksheet. So you're always going to count this one as a 10, 11, 12, 13. Got it? 10, 11, 12, 13. That's how you're going to count it. But along is not green only. They come in blue. They come in orange. They come in yellow. Okay, and the ones also come in blue and orange, not just yellow. All right, so I'm going to now draw the next one with the next number. So say that I have another teen number called 16. If I were to do this with the base 10 blocks, which is what's on your worksheet, you should have something like this. And then six cubes like that. So in other words, this says 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's what it actually says. Okay? If I were to do another number like 11, 11 would have one long and one cube or one unit. And so I would say 10, 11. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 10, 11. Okay, so what's going to happen is when you go into the worksheets today, you're not going to see this number. You're going to see the picture. You're not going to see this number. You're going to see this picture. You're not going to see this number. You're going to see the picture. So you need to solve the problem by looking at this long and saying tens. Okay, when you say 10, then the other ones that are separated, which are called unit, you need to call them after 10, which would be 11, 12, 13 in this case. Okay, so if you are clear with that, then this is where you end if you speak English. If you speak Spanish, then you stay. All right, bien. For those who have been uh, finished in English, you can go and do your worksheets. If you need this in Spanish, then I'm going to do it now. Bien, ahora voy a hablar en español para aquellos que no entienden lo que van a hacer con la tarea que yo acabo de estar eh, presentando en inglés. Bien. La, los bloques de los que estamos hablando, que en inglés se llaman Base 10 Blocks, son aquellos que hemos aprendido en la matemática de nuestro país como unidades y decenas. La unidad es el cuadrito que parece un cubito. Es algo así como esto. Y el que es largo, ok, largo, se le llama decena, que es algo como esto. Ok. ¿Y qué va a hacer el niño? Bueno, nosotros vamos a trabajar con números que tienen que ver más allá del 9. Del 1 al 9 son un dígito, pero del 10 al 19, o del 10 al 99, para ser más exacto, 
son todos de dos dígitos. Por lo tanto, hay una unidad, hay una decena. Hay una unidad, hay una decena. Hay dos unidades, una decena. Tres unidades, una decena. Dos, uni dos decenas, cero unidades. Una unidad, dos decenas. ¿Me entiende? Que eso es lo que vamos a trabajar con las hojas que yo le mandé y le dejé en su casa. Aquí le hizo una demostración de cómo se hace con los números del 11 al 19. En este caso yo cogí el número 13 para representarlo en dibujo para que el niño pueda entender qué es lo que va a hacer. El niño tiene que contar este eh, y la niña. Tiene que contar este, que se llama decena o largo, la tiene que contar como 10. ¿eh? Después del 10 viene el 11, el 12 y el 13, porque estos son 1 y 1 y 1. Y este es un 10. 10, 11, 12, 13. De ahí es que viene el número. En el caso del 16, yo le ilustré 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. ¿Ve? Y en el caso del 11, le demostré decena, 10 y uno más serían 11. En la hoja no aparece este número. En la hoja no aparece este número. En, en, la, en la hoja no aparece este número. Por lo tanto, ellos van a tener los dibujos y tienen que contar, comenzando con el largo, como 10, siempre. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 10, 11. Y así va a ser con cada una de las hojas. Hay varias hojas. Hay algunas que se repiten en el número para que vaya pre preparándose el niño para el kinder, para el primer grado, donde se trabaja mucho, mucho, mucho con este, especialmente el segundo grado. Esta es una matemática un poco compleja para aquellos que no han ido a la escuela, pero aquellos que sí han ido a la escuela, que saben que en su país le han enseñado de esto, tienen que repasar eso con sus niños, porque en, en aquí en Estados Unidos se enseña pero con el nombre en inglés. Es lo mismo. La única diferencia es que es en inglés. ¿Ok? Entonces, si necesita ayuda, usted me textea. Si no, vea el video nuevamente para que el niño lo pueda ver en inglés o la niña. O lo puede esperar hasta que termine la sección en inglés y yo lo haga en español. Hasta aquí llegamos. No hay clase el lunes. Es un día festivo. Y nos veremos el martes si Dios quiere. Que pase un buen fin de semana. Bye.